Hey guys, it's Heather. Welcome back. It has been a long time since I've done a clean with me video. Today I'm going to do like my hole downstairs. It is just a mess. It has been a while. Honestly, my cleaning style has changed a lot since I've had my son. I feel like I do more of like a piecemeal, like getting things done here and there. So I'll split up the chores during the week because it's nice out. I wanna get outside on the weekend, enjoy my time with my kids, you know, from working all week. So that's just been easier and more manageable for me. If you have quartz or granite and you just want a really, really clean, nice shine, check out this cleaner. It is so good. It has been such a game changer. It just makes everything like perfect and streak free. I've been loving it. Someone put like a dirty diaper, something nasty in the garbage. So I need to light a candle before I go any further. So this is my clutter basket. I've been really liking it just for putting anything on the counter in it. And I just kind of tuck it and hide it away. And it just really helps save on counter space, just like random miscellaneous things I throw in there. And then I just go through the basket and toss and sort what needs to be tossed and sorted. My husband was loving that I was filming this video today because it got him out of having to do the dishes and put them away because normally I'm the one who does all the laundry and he kind of mans the dishes and does all that. So he was so happy just to sit on the couch and watch me do this for the sake of the video. But yeah, typically we split things up. It just makes things easier. And he does most of the cooking at night. When we do cook, we do like HelloFresh. We've been loving that. It's just easy and it's like really foolproof. But he's been doing a good job of like wiping everything down, like the backsplash and the stove because the grease splashes and stuff. If you don't wipe it up, it's gonna stain. But I noticed like this is the coffee area and I guess in the like grout in between the tiles, there's been like some, I guess maybe coffee stains or something. So I had to bring out Tilex and just get in there with a little scrubber brush, like a little toothbrush. It works perfect. Just to get all that gunk out of there, I was just really careful not to get it on my marble and just kind of get it in the nooks and crannies, but it was a miracle worker. And the white coffee maker is beautiful, but it gets really gross and you have to wipe it down constantly. So just a little tip if you're thinking about getting one, the black is much easier to maintain. One of my favorites is the Method Glass Cleaner. It's like a multi-surface cleaner too. It smells great and it does such a good job on like any glass or really anything. I just think it's a must have for your kitchen or even your house just to have that on hand. So I can typically get away with just using like soap and water and spraying it on the stovetop. Like I said, we really do a good job at wiping down after every time we cook to just remove all that extra grease and grime. It's really going to save you in the long run. So you're not going to have to be like busting your butt scrubbing your stovetop. Next, a section of the kitchen. I just have some like random things that need to get recycled and moved. I have like this little thing of lemons. I don't know where I thought I was gonna put it. They're obviously fake lemons, but it's just not working out. So I'm gonna move them somewhere else. So I'm using that same quartz cleaner and it smells really good. It has like a really pleasant, like citrus kind of orangey scent. And then if you're wondering on the backsplash, like on the marble, I use just a little bit of soap and water in a spray bottle and it works perfect just to get it nice and clean and it's very gentle on the marble. And when I clean my kitchen, I like to move in waves. So like I'll remove everything, clean the counters, do all that. Then once all that's done, then I'll clean the stainless steel appliances. And then at the end, I vacuum. So to clean the microwave, that's just a little soap and water to remove the extra gunk and grime that's built up. Sometimes I feel like I'm walking in circles when I'm cleaning. Does anyone else do that or is it just me? It's been way too long since I've cleaned this thing. It's like that grass drying rack for like bottles and stuff. 
and it gets nasty if you don't clean it. So I end up just putting it in the dishwasher because it really needs a good deep cleaning. And my husband's probably cringing at the way I'm loading the dishwasher because I feel like everybody has their own system and how they prefer to load it. <laughs> And to clean the sink, I love to use the Dawn dish spray foam. It does such a good job at cleaning the sink. And I have one of those sink crates and I would recommend getting one if you're thinking about it. It really helps save on the bottom of your sink. And I just really like it. It's very convenient. To clean the faucet, I am using that Method glass cleaner. It works perfect at cleaning hardware. Speeding things up here, I'm cleaning the stainless steel with the Weeman stainless steel wipes. Love them, have been using them forever. Super quick, easy, just hassle free. And I'm wiping down my cabinets with a little bit of that multi-service cleaner. And I'm happy with how the kitchen's looking. So just moving on to vacuuming the floors. And I love, love, love my Dyson stick vac. It's awesome. I'm thinking about getting another one for upstairs, but I might try the shark or like, you know, another one that's not as expensive. Let me know about down below in the comments if you guys have one, if you like it, if you think that it works good as a Dyson. Um, just really curious, so let me know. Another note, if there was an award for like the worst person to stuff a pillow into a cover, I would win that award. It literally took me five minutes. I know it looks like it took two seconds. It took me literally five minutes. Speaking of cushions, I love these chairs because the covers are removable. I can wash them when the kids make a mess. It's super easy to clean them. So I bought this little cheese mat for my daughter like to practice gymnastics on, but she's outgrown it. And my son loves to like race his cars down it. It's really cute and it keeps him busy. Like he'll do it for like an hour. So we keep it around for that purpose. This little area has become a little playroom section for him because I don't like him playing obviously in the playroom by himself. He's only a year and a half and my daughter's toys, some of them are really small. So it's just nice for him to have his own little spot. So I got this piece of furniture from Wayfair for like under $700 and it is perfect for hiding away all the toys and stuff. And it still looks like, you know, a nice part of your living room. So to go back to the topic of doing little things at a time, for example, like cleaning the couch, I don't try to do that on like a cleaning day because it's just so time consuming. So I'll just do it like one day and just do that. Like take all the cushions off, vacuum them, the whole nine. And we keep the blankets on the couch because it really helps save with like stains, with the one-year-old, he's climbing on the couch, you know, he has milk, this and that. So it's just easier to wash the blankets every couple of days than it is to have to remove the couch cover. And it just really prolongs the life of the couch. Moving on to the front hallway, we have a ton of jackets, coats, like winter stuff that doesn't need to be in there. So I just put them on the stairs. All that stuff needs to be go upstairs and be put away or washed and dealt with. And I'm cleaning the floors today with the Shark. This is the steam mop. I love this thing for like a really good deep clean. I do water and then I put a couple drops of like any essential oil in it and it's just great. And I think the cord length is, it's pretty long, but I just think when you're so used to using like the Dyson stick cordless vac and then you go to mop and it you're like confined to this cord, it's just hard to get used to. Finishing up here in the bathroom, I keep these scrubbing bubbles on hand and it's a really good cleaner, but they need to work on the wipes because they're just very flimsy. And I feel like I try to get one out and it rips and just makes a mess. So because of that, I probably won't buy them again. And it's definitely a shame because they work really good at cleaning the bathroom, just like quick, easy, perfect for cleaning the sink. They do a good job. They just break apart so easy. And my mirror is pretty spotless. I'm not sure why I'm even cleaning it. <laughs> but for the floors in the bathroom, I like to use the Centivia because they're a disinfectant floor wipe and they're really good at like picking up all the dirt and grime. And then I just leave it on there and let it dry and it disinfects the floor. Um, I just like to really give the bathroom floor a deep clean because it's a downstairs bathroom. So more people are using it. 
And I always wear these flip flops to clean my house. I don't know, I feel like I have to have something on. And look at how nasty that is. I don't even do shoes in my house. I think it's probably from the dog. All right, I'm all done with the downstairs except for the playroom. I'm gonna do that another day. It's just too much. And frankly, I'm just beat. I'm gassed out. All of this stuff has to go upstairs. A lot of it is like winter stuff, things that need to be put away that was like in the front. And then just like other random things that need to go upstairs. The boxes I use when I like organize certain things or if I have to sell things and send them out. So I like to keep a certain stock of boxes up in my office. So that's it for today's clean with me. I am done. I am so tired and I'll see you guys next week. Bye guys. To my embrace this time I promise it won't break. I'm hoping the things haven't changed. Life took us far apart but it never took away my heart. Have you been holding it safe? Cause it's been hard.